What people aren't talking about enough is the climate impact of this fund. Hey, it's time for part two of my series on BlackRock. This time is going to be a little different because instead of being in the park, I'm on my friend's roof, and instead of having no mustache, I, uh... Basically, my last video was about how BlackRock, on top of being the world's most powerful company, is also the world's leading funder of the climate crisis, war crimes, and climate crisis causing war crimes. And this week, I just want to get a little bit more in depth at how BlackRock has really perfected the craft of investing in global warming and war crimes at the same time. So basically, BlackRock offers an investment package to its client investors, which takes advantage of its shareholdings across the aerospace and defense sectors. That investment package is called ITA, and if you invest in ITA, you're investing in companies like Raytheon, which makes nukes, and Lockheed Martin, which makes bombs that kill civilians. And at this point, it's pretty common knowledge that BlackRock hosts the biggest fund in the world for weaponry. In fact, there's like a little blurb on the information page that shows how much of the fund goes towards, quote, controversial controversial weapons. You know, like jets, missiles, tanks, nukes, guns, bombs, and stuff. So again, not good stuff. I've said it once, and I'll say it a million times more, the United States military is the planet's biggest single institutional emitter of greenhouse gases. Actually like way too hot on this roof to be doing TikToks right now, and I at least partially blame Larry Fink, BlackRock CEO. Because BlackRock is actively lying to its clients about how bad this fund is for the climate. And they're doing it in the most ridiculous, annoying way. It's kind of like when a kid tells a lie. Like if a kid's not supposed to eat a piece of chocolate cake, but then they eat it behind your back and they come up to you, their face is like covered in frosting. And they're like, oh, I don't know who did that. You know, like that kind of lie. Does that make any sense? If you look at the sustainability metrics for the companies represented in ITA, all those companies together are on track to help produce greater than three degrees Celsius global warming. But if you look right above this greater than three degree metric, you see that ITA has a triple A ESG score, which is basically a blue ribbon for sustainable investing. Without any context, investors are being misled into investing into this horrible climate catastrophe fund, which is super messed up. So we have to do something about this, right? Well, we are. And I'm going to tell you all about what we're doing next week.